So let's get started. Uh, last year, Shopify moved its Elasticsearch cluster from multiple data centers to the cloud. From the search platform perspective, which I'm in, why will we do such a change when most of Shopify's success was built on Metal? We chose Kubernetes as our base platform. One of its promises is abstract infrastructure. With this technology, uh, systems are built with simple blocks. Another feature of the, the cloud is on-demand growth. As the year goes by, we can scale up and down our applications. This is really convenient when a merchant is doing a flash sale or Black Friday. An aspect I like about a managed Kubernetes is disposable infrastructure. With one click, we can provision a full-scale isolated cluster to run experiments. Once we are done, deleting the cluster is easy. Now that you're convinced on going to the cloud, there is a sample of what we did before moving our Elasticsearch cluster to Google Cloud. First step is to define SLOs based on current data center's performance. We expect our new Elasticsearch cluster to at least be as fast. SLO should be defined from the end user perspective and happiness. Next step is to map infrastructure to Kubernetes component. For example, an Elasticsearch node is a pod in Kubernetes. To automate provisioning Elasticsearch in Kubernetes, we built a controller with CRD APIs. Another preparation step is to do a migration plan. You should be prepared to run both systems in parallel. Rolling back should be an option if needed. We did two times. Now that our plan is ready, we expect some new challenges by running our, new, our system on a new environment. The main challenge in going to the cloud is that system need to be more resilient on it. The cloud is flaky, and multiple of its layer can get restarted at any time. Next challenge is the lack of expertise. Most developers are used to work with Chef at Shopify. Now, they, they need to learn Kubernetes and Golang for native integration. That's a big change. Today, search is fully on cloud at Shopify. In this journey, what did we learn? Let's start with the bad. This is not a joke. Expect the worst to happen. Think Jamdisk, slow network, random restart, and so on. Things will get ugly. Another bad side in, is having cloud-related incident. You now need to contact cloud support. Having to deal with support is, not, is less than ideal when things are on fire. That seems to happen a lot. Also, you now have less control over low-level implementation. For example, read-write-io can be throttled. Sometimes, you just want to copy a big file, and it's slowing everything down. Now let's get over some good points, because we're still on the cloud. Kubernetes make it fast and easy to update resources used by a system. I'm talking about CPU, memory, replicas, storage. Also, people like working with Kubernetes. New developer finish a well-tested first pull request easily in Golang. This way, we get faster onboarding. This is good. My favorite now. Our infrastructure is now defined by code. We now produce automated infrastructure by default. This brings a cultural change in the right direction. And finally, 
we get to focus more on our core business. We spend less time on toil and system configuration and more time building reliable systems to run Shopify. Thank you.